my next job on uh, the supersonic weight after I've done all the sort of all the back end out now is to make it go faster. Now I've got a you know our, our kit comes with a um, a prop that's ideal for the standard motor. You know it gains about uh, 15 kilometers an hour or something. That's all good, but um, I want to come up with a motor that will fit straight in there. You run the same speed controller and go faster than that. Obviously, if it was just something I just wanted to do for myself and make this boat go faster today, I would just put a, another speed controller in there that can handle 12S, a um, 56mm motor, and you know have it go on maybe double the speed. But I don't want to do that. I just want to do something for the website that where people can buy a motor that just bolts straight in with minimum work and they can just see a difference straight away. Now, the standard motor mount, the standard motor I should say, is a bit of a weird size. It's about, I haven't measured it, it's about 45 mil or something. Around about 45 mil across. Um, all your aftermarket motors are gonna be 40 mil diameter or 56. So first thing I've looked at obviously to get more power is put a 56 in there. This is a triple S. 56 mil motor. Uh, I could, I could easily make it fit. Um, I would have to cut this away here, so it's not in the way. Um, other issue they've got is the bolt holes on these 56s are 30 mil apart, whereas these are only 25 mil apart. So I'd have to make up another plate to do that. Another thing that wouldn't be very hard to do. But I want to come up with something that will just go straight in. This is a TP4070 motor, 25mm um, bolt hole, holes, which is good. Um, being smaller, I'm going to have to space this up. Oh, hang on. The motor's smaller, but the, the cooling jacket seems to be perfect, actually. That fits in there almost perfectly. Well, there's one problem I don't have to worry about. Cool. So, the length of this is a limiting factor because I don't want it for people to have to move the speed controller. So this motor is 107 mil long, and that's the maximum you can fit in there. She only just fits. I may even have to just make a small adjustment on the motor mount to slide it forward. I'll deal with that when I have to. I really wanted to put a 4090 in here, which is another 20 mil long, um, and that'd be way more powerful than the standard motor, but it's just not gonna fit. Other issue with these is they're an eight mil shaft. The standard motor is a five mil shaft. Our collets are actually too big to fit in here. So you'd have to take this off, um, which is no big deal, but the grease going everywhere. So just for testing, I'll just run this old collet that I've got that is smaller diameter that can fit in there. I think it's an old Speedmaster collet, but when I when I settle on a KV, I'll get some motors made up, especially for this. Just do some custom ones with a five mil shaft that people will be able to buy. I also have to put longer. Oh, the, the wires are a little bit, you know, too sort of tight. Oh, hang on, no, I've got adapters on here. What have I got here? I oh, know. No, they, that actually probably would fit in, so it wouldn't need longer wires. That's okay. So, all right, um, this one's an 880kV. It's just something I've had in, sitting around the workshop for ages. Um, the standard one is a 950kV, so I'm not expecting this to be faster, but I do want to make sure that it can run off the little 160 amp speed controller. Yeah, TPs are powerful, but they do draw a lot of amps. I don't know what this can handle. Okay, first problem is... The motor doesn't clear the speed controller like I'd hoped it would. Um, it, the, the motor mount can't drop down low enough. So, I mean, I could just put a 4060 in there, 10 mil shorter, and that would fix that. It would also have the 5 mil shaft, so there's no changing of the collet. But I don't really want to do that. I just don't think that motor will be um, as powerful as a standard motor that's in there. It might be on par, but yeah, I don't want to do that. I, I want to stick with the 4070 length. So what I'll have to do is move my speed controller forward a little bit. I 
guess if this happened to me, it's probably going to happen to other people too. I'm going to back the screws out of the uh, speed controller here. It broke the little mount on there from both of them. I don't even understand what I, what I could have done wrong. That one there is okay. And this one here, that one there, no bueno. So, oh well, for now, I'll just, I don't know, not worry too much about that and just get this motor in going and just figure it out later on what i'm going to do with that okay so i've got it bolted in top thing we can't do anything about that we're just going to leave that off the main thing is making sure that the cable goes in without you know forcing it to make sure it's straight so i've greased her up it's starting oh yeah okay cool so she's gone in there now. That's good. So that means, you know, the, the motor and collar is, is pretty straight. So that's all good. Because this was very tight to get out. So it's tight to get in. So that's good. It means we've got no issues with the alignment there. I'm just very lucky that our cooler is just right for the back of the mount there. All right. So there she is. Do a fire up. This motor... I don't know how long it's been sitting in my spares. It was an 880kV, so I probably would have ran it on 12S uh, in something. Probably had a bit of a hard life. But it should still work. I did spray some um, lubricant in the back of the motor there. I still don't know what I'm going to do with the speed controller, to be honest. She's just floating around there. Otherwise, on the right way. <coughs> wow, fluked it. <coughs> okay, so rather than moving the ESC forward into the batteries, all I'd really do was lift it. So I just got a bit of scrap aluminium and uh, bolted it down to the bottom of the boat and just used cable ties to hold this on here. And the switch that was mounted there, uh, this speed controller actually has a little provision for the uh, switch to be there so that was pretty cool so that's that's all done okay so i'll give this a go um back to the 5514 prop that did 76 with this setup on the standard motor which is 950 kv this TP motor is only 880 kV, so it shouldn't go as fast as it did, but we'll just see what happens. See if a speed controller can handle a TP motor, first of all. Oh wow, I think this is faster. It looks faster than 76. Yep, I know there's a stick there. Just do one more and then we'll put the other prop on. We'll see what the tents are like. Alright, let's see what that did. Uh, I sprayed some stuff in the motor, that's what that smoke was. Uh, we didn't get a good speed reading, there's no way that's right, it's only showing 52. No. Didn't get a reading properly. Do you want to throw it back in or? Yeah, motor's a little bit warm so I won't throw the bigger prop on actually. We'll just try this and we'll just try and get a better reading. Must have took off too soon before that GPS, yeah, GPS was ready. Have, uh, it was showing zeros, but obviously not. There's no way that's 52. I think that way these sticks.
can you guess how big? It's got to it's got to be 80, 85 all day long. Yeah. It's got to be 80. Big clunk like the battery might have moved. Yeah. There she comes. Let's bring her in. This isn't right. We just got a butt in here. We turned the camera off to reset the GPS because it takes, you know, five, five or so minutes. And uh, neither of us remembered to turn it back on. So it actually went out, did two, three laps, and came back in. And this is when we hit record again, realizing that the camera wasn't on. So here we are. <laughs> oh, that's better. Okay, a nearly empty battery, 84.1. <coughs> so went from 76 to 84 with a lower kV motor and the same size prop which means it's a more powerful motor you see it's just able to spin the prop easier so temps yeah motors kind of warm not too hot but a bit warm but that's okay we'll come out again and find out what the speed actually is with fresh packs and then put a different prop on it next time so my phone has a little temperature thing in it and it's picking up around 39 ish it's going up and down but yeah it was at 39 degrees just a second ago okay so it was a bit hot on your hand it comes down to about 31 32 so 